Do your children belong to you or do they belong to the government? Now, according to NBC News' cable operation, it's not you. Take a look at MSNBC's new ad featuring one of their stars, Melissa Harris Perry, who is a left-wing professor at Tulane. She thinks children are the property of the collective. Listen closely. We have never invested as much in public education as we should have because we've always had kind of a private notion of children. Your kid is yours and totally your responsibility. We haven't had a very collective notion of these are our children. So part of it is we have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. Once it's everybody's responsibility and not just the households, then we start making better investments. Wow. So once again, another attack on the nuclear family, Eric. We've seen and heard this kind of thing before, but how bold. You know, we need to point out that that isn't necessarily just her words. It's, it's broadcast on MSNBC. MSNBC is out of touch. MSNBC has declared war on the American fabric. They, they're determined to change our life, our lifestyle, how we think, how we act. From radicals like Al Sharpton to rhinos like Morning Joe, who, by the way, I can't figure out why Morning Joe thinks he's a Republican besides wearing the blue blazer. I'm not really sure what I, else makes him a Republican. I thought you liked him. Hold on. I don't. I don't. I, I like to watch. I watch the show. I watch Fox and Friends. I go back and forth. I watch them both because I like the, the politics. I like the angles. But I'm not sure why Morning Joe ca calls himself a Republican because he's not. He's a rhino. Liberals are feeding a narrative that it, the state knows best from cradle to the grave, while conservatives are feeding the narrative that we believe that the community knows best. And what's at the center of the community? The family. So you have a, a vast difference between the liberal MSNBC and the conservative rest of us. Okay, Dana? Uh, what? Which part of that <laughs> should what I What do you think about to? this ad? Is it appropriate um, for look, a network to run this or for Bob to have his phone on? Um, it's inappropriate for Bob to have his phone on. If the collective had raised him correctly, <laughs> then he would have known to turn off his phone at the table. Um, it's Melissa Harris Perry. I'm <laughs> It's one of her children. Remember, I don't have children for a reason. I don't want to have children. I don't I, because that would have been my responsibility. I don't think that. I, but in the life of Julia, you can do whatever you want and you get to have the collective raise your children and take care of you when you're old. Like it, it doesn't make any sense. But if the collective would come over and help a, a mom, you know, wipe Jimmy's butt while she's trying to like, call the dishwasher repair man and do all the things that moms do. Like, if the collective is going to come and help with that, I mean, that'd be great. Um, and then you know, when you get to be a teenager, what do you do? You, you grow up and you turn to the collective and say, I never asked to be born. It, it, none of this makes any sense except for to try to get attention, which she has achieved. All right. So what was it? Publicity stunt or is this that actually part of the group think over there? Well, OK, she says that children belong to the community. But does that include the unborn? Of course not. So there's a little bit of an inconsistency here. If you're going to talk about that, then you have to talk about that as well. And if you, but I guess if you can spread the wealth, why not spread the kids? I love this idea because I don't have any kids, but I have chores. And I need these <laughs> chores to be done. So if I can borrow anybody's children at any time in my community, why not? Essentially what she's doing, and I don't think she's a bad person for this. This all comes from uh, the toxic teacher's lounge, words like collective. Uh, she's spent more time in the Ivy League than actual Ivy. Uh, but what this is, is she's passing the buck to Chairman Mao. This is basically a way to abdicate responsibility to the government. It's the laziest communism you could ever find. But it's also stupid because you never want to get in between a mom and, a, and her kid. The strongest instinct is the maternal instinct. Uh, telling a mother that our kids are part of a collective is the dumbest thing MSNBC has done since hiring Keith Oberman. <laughs> First of all, let me, right let me, I, I got, when Dana said that, I didn't ask to be born. That's exactly what they sound like. Just the way you did that. I mean, I, I can hear my kids say that over and over again when they got mad at me. I didn't ask to be born. Um, I, would, I, think, I, think I, understand, I think I understand what they're trying to say here. It was not said in the way that it should have been said. And it's not all a bunch of communists in the teachers' lounge. But the, where, does all, it, where does the word collective come from? Well, well, no, no, you're right. Uh, the word collective is and, and, a bad choice of words. But, but think about the substance. Your children don't well, belong yeah, but, to you. But, but, they belong to the but collective. But she also went on social That's very strange, say. Bob. That's not appropriate. Wait, 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 wait a second. So they went on to say that we should spend more money on education, right? It is true that during the school year, Children spend more time in an educational institution, a waking hours, than they do with their parents. Okay. 
So mm -hmm. in that case, you, they are sort of being taken right. care of by that school system. But, right. And so th I think that I understand. I understand the village concept, I, and I don't under, but I don't think the word collective is the way that I would present this it. This is going way beyond <laughs> the village. This is saying your child, you may have given birth, you may pay some bills, but your child does not belong to you. And it goes to a larger issue of the takedown of the nuclear family. Listen to Rush. The nuclear family has always been under attack by communists, by leftists. But the fact that it is said in America on a cable news channel and is considered fairly benign is what has changed. This isn't that big a deal anymore. That's what's changed, folks. You agree with yeah, that? No, here's what it is. Uh, look, the liberals are for big government. Therefore, the collective, the, the government knows best. They'll take care of you from the cradle to the grave. MSNBC is the mouthpiece for big government. So, of course, they were going to run that. There, I'm sure that went through four or five layers of, of producers who said, yeah, that's fine. She can say that. That's fine. You know, that, that, that's the, our, it, it, it's in our, in, our, in our words, in our, in our language. It's exactly what we they, lean forward or whatever their thing is. That's what they're talking they, about. They, collective. Can I it's socialist. Let me point not all liberals think that you ought to be taken care of from cradle to grave. There are some of us who believe that there are places where you do need government invention and other places you should stay out of it. In this case, I think as I go back to it, she's trying to make this point, and it is not about taking control of your kids or right. anything else. It is not communism. It is the idea that we, these kids spend a good deal of time in the community and in the education system, and we have a certain responsibility for that. That's all. It was not said, well, I'll repeat that, but that's, but, again, it's MSNBC. Okay, so from a messaging standpoint, then why did she do this and double down? Okay, so here it says here, allow me to double down. Kids are our collective responsibility. So, Bob, even though you're trying to help clean up this mess for her, she's saying, that's exactly what I meant. And then here's another one. She's got a quote on MSNBC.com as part of an article. One thing is for sure. I have no intention of apologizing for saying that our children, all of our children, I think she means Jasper too, are part of more than our households. They are part of our communities. Well, it's true they're part of our community. I'm not trying to clean this up because there's too much to clean up. I don't have enough <laughs> of a dump truck to get all that out of here. Thank you, Bob. So please, I'm not here defending MSNBC or defending her. I, as I say, if I were writing this script, I would have written it differently. Dana. I do, from, a, from a branding standpoint for the mm -hmm. Democrats, I, when I, agree, I agree with you, Bob. Not all Democrats think that. But there is a serious problem developing in the, for the Democrats um, that it's slowly becoming a rebranded left-wing crazy nuts on the left that don't want you to be able to take care of your children and it's just a, it's a little bit creeping here and there and pretty soon you're going to have people that are actually running on this type of a message it's not like she said it off the cuff mm -hmm. that was edited highly produced sure. it's a public service announcement that they type that they that they do so i think that uh, the left whatever the third way or the media the some sort of middle ground needs to at least step forward. And Bill Clinton has tried to do that, to try to give some yeah. advice. And when Hillary probably runs in 2016, you'll see more of that. You know, you're, you're right. This is my fear for the Democratic Party. It is beginning to get this big government thing. Oh, and then when you put the word collective in there, I could think about that. Would you ban that phrase? Yeah, I'll, I'll get on that. Okay, um, good. But, but it, it is a power grab. It's a power grab. The Democrats control the government. It takes, and the government wants to take responsibility for the kids. That's how it works. It's always about expansion. But really, what is a child anyway? Aren't we all children at heart? Why do we have to go by age? Why can't, aren't, in a way, isn't what the left believes is that we are all children and the government is their parent, uh, is our parents, and that we're really just babies who can't take care of ourselves? I, I don't think, uh, well, first of all, you I, I, am, care I am still that black a baby, and white shirt but, but I, and I, I would like to be a child in perpetuity, but. I don't think that the, we, the left believes that the government ought to be in charge of all this. D d let me ask you this. Define socialism for us. We've done this a hundred times on the show. You want to define socialism? Yeah, I mean, a social, well, it depends what kind of socialism you're hey, talking about. Give me about. any brand. All right, so say, say state-owned uh, uh, ownership of business. And, and, and as a worker within the uh, socialist or communist system, where does my pro productivity go? It, it, there's, there's a difference between socialism and communism. But o okay. Either but one, it, pick it one. Does, it, if you take the state-run organization... It goes to the state, right? The collective. Yes, yes, it does that's go what to she the, said. Yeah. That's exactly what she said. Well, that's why I said the word collective is not a good idea, and Dana's point about it being... But branded. I love the phrase. I oh, love... you got to ban it, man. No, 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 because she's saying what it is. That's the, the beauty of it. I want... 
I want what leftists to use these words. The collective is more descriptive than the village. Exactly. The village is fake. The collective is real. This is utopia by force. This is how fascism becomes gift wrapped as caring when inevitably it becomes culling. And Anytime a collective see? achieves its aims, people die. However, I'm not saying that uh, Sarah Jessica Parker, that is her name, right? Yeah. Uh, who was talking earlier? I'm not saying she's out to do. Oh, I, I think she. Be, I think she actually believes this is she, a good thing. I it was By the way, Sarah Hewitt. Jessica Parker probably would say the exact same thing. What though. was her name? Melissa, Melissa Sue Martin. Melissa. Harris. Melissa Jennifer, Harris. Love Jennifer Love Hewitt. M-H- Jennifer Love Hewitt. It's- oh, MHP or. It doesn't matter. It's the, matter. It's the woman was on the thing. Can I just suggest that Jennifer don't give you. don't give Gutfeld any more ammunition, okay? Because he's already been wound up on this thing. Eric is. Dane is trying to be sane about this. I got to tell you, he's thrown no, in, in, into the pitch. If let you're a moderate, yeah. if you're a moderate liberal, I think yeah. you push away from MSNBC right, and, and, gotta... and this this brand of uh, I, liberalism. I, uh, I divorced myself. from All right. Well, collectively, right now we got to jump to the T's. All right. Coming up, both.